If we want to buy smart, manage our budget right and avoid overspending, we need to understand the Clarity Grade. In these two part series, we'll cover everything you need to know. In part 1, we'll talk about how the Clarity Grade affects the total appearance of the diamond. We'll do a side-by-side -side comparison of different clarities with prices and I'll give you a set of rules to follow, what to look for and what to avoid. In part 2, we'll do a live research and find 3 different diamonds that you can get for your budget. After viewing this video and the whole series, you'll know how to get a best bang for your buck. Let's start! In short, diamond clarity is a metric that grades the amount of inclusions and blemishes, the size of the inclusions, and where it's located in the diamond. In other words, how the flaws affect the total appearance of the diamond. Clear stones without any visible birthmarks are extremely rare, which comes to a significantly higher price. Most of the diamond industry follows the GIA clarity scale. We'll cover it from best to worst and I'll separate it into 5 groups, so it would be easier to understand. As we move up through the grades, we'll see less inclusions and blemishes, but of course, the price goes up. The first group is FL and IF diamonds. Those diamonds are flawless diamonds, with no inclusions or blemishes visible under 10x magnification. The following group is VVS1 and VVS2 diamonds, which stand for very very slightly included, level 1 and level 2. No inclusions are visible, but some small blemishes may be visible under 10x magnification. The group below is VS1 and VS2 diamonds, which stand for slightly included level 1 and level 2. VS1 diamonds have minor inclusion that cannot be seen without 10x magnification. VS2 diamonds have inclusions that are easily visible under 10x magnification. And the next group is SI1 and SI2, which stand for slightly included. On level 1, inclusions are sometimes visible even to the naked eye. On level 2, inclusions are generally visible to the naked eye. And the last group at the bottom of the scale is I diamonds, I1, I2 and I3, which stand for included. The inclusions are definitely visible to the naked eye. You can easily see the flaws of the diamond with no tool to magnify it. In this example, even if I zoom out, we can see the inclusions with no problem. After viewing this list, you might think that you need to look for high grade. In reality, you don't. If we inspect a diamond using no tool to magnify it and the diamond appears as a clean diamond, we'll call it an eye clean diamond. Lower clarity eye clean diamond will look similar to a flawless diamond for the naked eye if the color carat and cut are equal. As long as the object is small enough, we won't be able to notice any difference when judging with our bare eyes. Let's play a game. I am going to show you 5 pairs of diamonds. Each one has different clarity grade. You have 5 seconds to decide which one has higher clarity. You can also pause this video and take a better look. This way, we'll compare different clarities side by side with pricing and you'll understand how much money you can save by getting an eye clean diamond with lower clarity. Ready? Let's start. All diamonds are 1 carat G color with excellent cut and no fluorescence. Which one has higher clarity? On the right, we have an SI1 diamond, while on the left, we have an SI2 diamond. If you choose the diamond on the left, you can save $790. On the right, we have an SI1 diamond, while on the left, we have a VS2. If you choose the diamond on the right, the SI1, you now can save $1610. On the right, we have a VS2 diamond, while on the left, we have a VVS2 diamond. If you choose the diamond on the right, you now can save $1310. On the right, we have a VVS1 diamond, while on the left, we have an SI1 diamond. If you choose the SI1 diamond on the left, you now can save $2810. And last, on the right we have an FL diamond, the highest clarity grade in the chart, while on the left we have a VS2 diamond. If you choose the VS2 on the left, 
you now can save $2,130. As you can see, by getting an iClean diamond with lower clarity, you can save a lot of money that can be invested in larger diamond with better color. Take a piece of paper and write down any important note because I'm going to give you a set of rules to follow. Unless you have a large budget and you wish to get a higher clarity grade, the minimum I suggest looking for is SI2 for diamonds under 2 carat and VS2 for larger diamonds. If you are interested in lab diamonds, the minimum I suggest looking for is VS2 diamonds. Lab diamonds are much more affordable. There is no reason getting a lower clarity. Know that if you go with SI2 to VS1 diamonds, try to find a diamond with flaws located on the facets of the diamond and not on the table. This way, the jeweler might be able to hide it under the setting prongs. When doing the research, keep in mind that it's much easier to notice the flaws on large diamonds, so even if it's a good grade such as VS2, you still need to verify it's an iClean diamond. When inspecting a diamond, you always want to see the diamond for yourself using a high quality video and see the GIA, IGI or AGS certificate of the particular diamond you consider buying. By checking the certificate of the specific diamond, you can find a section that gives you detailed description of the diamond flaws. There are several types of inclusions and blemishes that can be inside of a diamond. Some won't affect the total appearance, while others can cause a big problem. Here is a list, including most of the inclusions and blemishes you can find on common diamonds. Now, here is when you should have a red alert. The second you see one of the following flaws, just move on to the next diamond. For all diamonds, no matter what clarity grade is, you should avoid bearded girdle, bruise, cavity, chip and indented natural. For SI1 and SI2, you should avoid getting feather and clouds if it's the first flaw that is mentioned in the comments. If you haven't watched my other video about diamond cut, make sure to watch it right after you finish this video. If you have watched it already, you should know that for round diamonds, I recommend always picking a triple X diamond, meaning it has an excellent cut, excellent polish and excellent symmetry. One reason for that is by taking a triple X diamond, you avoid some of the flaws in the first place. When inspecting a diamond, it's recommended to do it under natural light. This way, you can see the real color of the diamond and notice more details, such as the flaws of the diamond. But today, there is a better and easier option. Buying a diamond online gives you that critical option to actually see the diamond in a magnified 360 HD video. Even if you are not a diamond expert and you don't know where to look, you can easily notice the flaws. The best video technology that allows you to inspect the diamond and feel safe that what you see it's what you get is available only on this website. You can access it by clicking the link below. And now, it's time to find your diamond. Based on your budget, in part 2, we'll find 3 different diamonds. The largest diamond within your budget, the best balance between all factors, and the premium quality. All diamonds on this video are from the same vendor, which I found is the most competitive and has the best prices in the market. It has the best preview technology that allows you to inspect the diamonds like nowhere else. You can start your research by clicking the link below and look for the right diamond. Click the diamonds with the 360 HD video and try to find the right one. If you think you found the right one, if you are not sure which one to get or if you simply need an expert on your side, contact me and I'll be glad to give you my free advice. In any case, I'm on your side. If you want to let me do the heavy lifting, click the find the diamond link below, answer 4 simple questions and I will do the research for you for free. If you want to learn more about diamonds, go to labdiamondsreview.com.